Hey guys, this video is a quick introduction to Linus function. Uh, we used this function uh, in most of our labs uh, in undergraduate physics. So uh, we're just gonna go through a quick introduction. This is a statistical function and there are much more details, but we'll just go through the details that are useful to us, okay? So here's a data set, okay? So let's first plot this data set, okay? Uh, we go into insert, and you can just uh, go to scatter, scatter plot. Okay, and then you right click on the data points, you add trend line, and then you can um, set, uh, sorry, display equation on chart and display our squared value. So this is just a quick plot. This will give you, uh, the, the, the plot will give you the equation and the R squared value, okay? So this is y equals mx plus c and r squared is the statistical measure of how good your fit is with the data, right? So now let's see how can we use the Linus function. Let's put the chart on the side. So if you type uh, equal Linus, so let's just double click on that. And then now Excel by default puts the data, the, considers this as your x data and this as your y. So the line, linus function needs the y data first. So you select the y data, then press comma, and then your x data. And then you can type in uh, true over here, and then true over here. Okay, so, so if you press enter, you see you get a slope over here, the, the, the slope that you have over here from, from the equation, right? So now, the how to get the, the whole array. So the Linus function is an array in Excel. So the way you can get it is that you select two cells over here uh, horizontally and then four, uh, five vertically. So, so there you go, no, five, okay. There you go. Now, the trick is to click on this tab over here Okay, this bar, formula bar, and then press Control, Shift, Enter. Okay, so now you get your whole array over here. Now, what we typically need are these values. So you can see that this guy is the slope, which you get from, which you can see from this equation. And then this is the y-intercept. And the r squared value is over here, right? Now, this is the error in the slope. This is the error in the y-intercept. What are... Uh, those other things, I have another uh, window here that shows what these things are. So this is the same array which has all those details. So you have the mm, you have the slope. So that's the uncertainty in the slope. That's the uh, sorry uncertainty in this is the uh, y-intercept. Okay, let's just correct that. So that's your uncertainty in y-intercept, and then that's your Cor, you know, correlation coefficient, and then uh, so so these are the other details that we don't really need. So you can uh, for this lab, you can just ignore the, these details. Uh, and the important thing is the slope, the y-intercept, the uncertainty in the slope, the uncertainty in the y-intercept, and the correlation coefficient. And this is actually not that important. These four things are the most important things. These four, okay, slope, y-intercept uncertainty in the slope and uncertainty in the y-intercept. So this was a quick introduction to Linus function for our, uh, especially for our purpose in uh, undergraduate physics labs. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, bye.